Yes, here we are, guys. Let me take my flip flops off. Uh, <laughs> you know, um, my name is David Boozer. I want to say thank you guys very much for being here on this video. If you're here on my website, great. Uh, my blog. Uh, if you are uh, here on Daily Motion YouTube, any one of those, or just one of my social media profiles, thank you guys very much for checking this out. Um, you know, I'll tell you this right now. I have consulted with some very large companies out here. I have worked with hundreds of small business owners and literally thousands of individuals, helping them to better build and brand and manage a business online. As a matter of fact, I've done it from the comfort of my home with a whiteboard here and uh, uh, wearing a hoodie or a nice shirt sometimes, depending on what it calls for. Um, I prefer the hoodie in this one. <laughs> it's local business. It's traditional business. It's down home and downtown. Um, so, you know what? Here we go. Um, let's, let's, let's talk about just two things real quick. I'm going to try to get to them as quickly as possible. You know, the average SEO consulting firm or individual consultant out there is only really going to spend about two to four hours on your website every single month. So here's the deal. Why not just do that yourself? I mean, you look at these website marketing pros out here and so-called SEO consultants and everything else. And basically, in a nutshell, it's going to cost you thousands of dollars. It's going to cost you hundreds more dollars every single month for them to work for two to four hours. While you're sitting there busting your butt trying to get your business going, working 60 plus hours or 50 plus hours a week on your local traditional business. I suggest doing it yourself because really, honestly, you're not going to really add too, too much work to yourself. We're talking about maybe an hour a week, maybe two if you really want to get gun ho about it. And here's one more thing. Between the SEO companies and the, the, the website marketing professional guys and everything else, nobody knows your business better than you. Nobody knows your business, your products, your services, and nobody knows your community better than you. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Um, <clears throat> you know, uh, here's another thing. Um, there's a lot of people out here looking for like website designers and stuff like that. Most people end up with some sort of flat HTML based uh, a website that really honestly sucks. Um, it really, really does. It's just one page or, you know, a couple pages on it. Like, here's are, it's basically a business card online. Might as well just have a business card and pass them out because that really isn't going to convert a lot. As a matter of fact, you can ask anybody I've ever talked to and, and they're like, my page, my website isn't converting. And I was like, that's because it's not really a website. It's just a business card. I mean, that's all it really is. It's just a poster on a telephone pole. Um, so <laughs> yeah, amongst a million others. So, you know, really, I think blogs, uh, besides blogs and videos, here, here we go into the strategies and stuff. Do you know actually blogging and videos are the largest social media platforms online? Most of you would have probably thought like Facebook or things like that. No, not really. As a matter of fact, um, let's list a few of the off-page um, uh, platforms that you should be using. Things that are not in your blog, things that have, well, they're in your blog, things that are connected to your blog. but. This, these are basically profiles and places that you need to set up outside of your blog. So we're going to put on here real quick, off page. And what we're going to do is we're going to run through just a few real quick. You know, as a traditional business owner, I think LinkedIn is very, very important. Okay. Uh, the reason is, is because it's a real professional kind of a social media platform. I think the next one that you will always have to have, and I think you should have, is both Google page, pages and Google Plus. I think you need to have both of these things. Another thing is, is a good Facebook page. And another one should at least be YouTube and a Daily Motion page, uh, or basically uh, um, a channel is what they really call these things because these are all this has to do with video. Another thing for local businesses is citations. These things are huge. Places like Yelp, local.com, um, let's see, Angie's List, all these different little places like this. They even have places like Merchant Circle. You should be included on these things. These are the platforms that you should have, you should set up outside of your blog itself. Okay? You can go back to this video and write these down. Um, also, I think one more, let's just add one more here. Everybody should have a Twitter. 
<laughs> tweet, 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 tweet. Yeah, everybody should have a Twitter too. So you can go back through this video if you want and write all these down and go sign up with them. It's very, very simple. There are some strategies and tactics to setting all of this stuff up. But at any time, guys, you can click on the links below in this video or here if you're here on my blog or anything like that, just fill out your information. You're going to get directly into an ongoing and always updated internet marketing training program, a uh, video training program. So it's going to teach you everything you ever wanted to know and it's updated and ongoing for as long as I'm breathing on this beloved planet. Um, <laughs> So let's also get into the blogging now. You know, all those little tiny places online that I talked about are all connected. They all connect to one place online. You know, your YouTube, your videos, your Facebook, your Google page and plus, your Twitter, your uh, 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 LinkedIn, your, uh, what else? Um, what are some of the other ones that I put up there? Your uh, Yelp. All of these things are all actually centered around one presence online, and that's your blog. And the best place to do this is WordPress. WordPress is very easy to work with. As a matter of fact, with the Online Marketing Mentor System, we actually have your business site set up for you within 24 to 48 hours. And here's some basic strategies, I think, um, that you should connect with this blog. First off is getting a good domain name. You know, some people will sit there and say you need to get keywords around that domain name as far as a, a, the domain name is concerned. You know, I don't think so. <laughs> I honestly believe this, that you can actually use the name of your business I think what you need to do is learn how title tags work. Learn a little bit about search engine marketing. Because once you understand how these title tags work inside of a, a blog and stuff, then it will actually alert the search engines to what this business is and what it has to offer its products and services as you create pages and as you create posts. So don't be afraid to use your actual business name, the name of your business, because locally speaking, when it comes down to local search, I mean, really, honestly, the best way to sit there and brand yourself is to keep everything underneath that particular name. I don't care if it's a Gmail account, Google+, Google Pages. Keep everything underneath that business name, period. Okay? Everything, including the Facebook page, everything. Don't leave anything to chance. You keep everything underneath that business name. Um, other simple strategies with blogs and a great way to sit there and build that brand faster is by combining two uh, what I call my magic little bullets, a blog plus video. These things are the best things that you can possibly do for a local business blog. Why? First off, you have to understand that as we move along in internet marketing and everything else and search, we're starting to find out that video is about to take up 90% of the information consumption online. So, if you look at a lot of blogs and business uh, blogs out there in your area, business websites, you don't see a lot of video. So the thing is, is that you are going to be taking advantage of this fact right now. Even if you already have your website up and you're just here just to find out more information, get those videos up, get them going on every single blog post, every single page. Have a little something there. Have a little something there about that particular subject on that page, on that uh, post, uh, you know, whatever it is. A contact page, I suggest that you actually have a video there just to kind of introduce yourself. It's your own little tiny commercial spot. You know, just have it there. It's titled the, the name of your business. And, uh, you know, it's like, hey guys, if you'd like to, you can get on our newsletter. It's right down here. Just fill out your name, name and email. Get on our newsletter and uh, get updated with the latest uh, uh, sales and discounts that we have going on. Boom. I mean, it's a very good, simple call to action to introduce yourself. As a matter of fact, I've actually had people email me back or call me back that I've worked with, and they're like, Dave, I did the video thing, and um, I'm telling you, one day I had like five or six people come in, and they're like, hey, I saw your video on YouTube. That was awesome. It's like, were you nervous doing that? You know, it just started the conversation with their customers. Just started their conversation. Actually, two, uh, one or two of those people, I believe, were actually brand new customers to their store, to their shop. And um, they really didn't know they existed. They found them on their mobile phone. They saw the video and they got the house, saw the address there. And they were like, 
I saw you on that video. So that's pretty cool, guys. That's pretty awesome. Blogs and videos. Um, you know, the best way to sit there and, and do a, a blog and create a blog post, okay? There's going to be some basic strategies to this. You're going to learn this in the training system down here. But always, underneath the second paragraph, this is what I like to do. This is for you guys out there who already have blogs up or anything like that. Between the second and third, or between the, the third and fourth, this is where you might want to put your video, okay? The reason is, is it's, it's, it's usually going to be above the fold or right below the fold. This way people don't have to scroll too far or, or when they hit that blog post, they're going to see that video. So then they don't have to read all the content that you created. They can just go in there and watch the video real quick about that piece of content. Very, very simple to do. As a matter of fact, this is great for both people because most of them, 80% of the people are not going to read your content. As a matter of fact, this is also perfect for SEO for time on site, TOS, time on site. This is gonna keep people on the site longer. Search engines like Google love that. They love time on site. It's something that they measure heavily when it comes down to your website and your business presence online. Um, should you connect things like Google Analytics and all that craziness? I don't think you really need to. I think what you need to do is try to take advantage of both Bing and Google. And I mean take advantage through their business, their free uh, offerings of business pages, you know, Google pages, create a Google Plus account and then create a Google Plus page. Um, you know, you could get in there on the Google products, their whole new system about uh, selling products and stuff like that if you'd like to do some paid advertising. If you'd like to do paid advertising, I do suggest like the Google product section and I do suggest heavily, stay away from the AdWords, but get on the Facebook. Um, uh, the Facebook. <laughs> Get on Facebook um, because seriously, guys, uh, it's a lot cheaper there and it's a lot more specifically targeted. So it's going to save you a lot of money as far as PPC goes. But when it comes down to creating content, guys, we're talking about maybe an hour a week, 45 minutes to create a really good piece of content. And here's something before we leave, I want you to really consider. Your blog should not be just about your products and your services and you selling everything that you have to everybody on the blog. Actually, why not carry out a little bit of information about your community, happenings in your community, what's happening, what's going on? You know, things like little concerts in the park and talk about them, maybe a little league, um, you know, whatever it is. Maybe there's some sort of events, like maybe you're a, a, a all-natural natural, all natural shop and they have like farmers markets and stuff and, and you can put up a little listing of the date and times that they're there and maybe go out and make a video while you're there going, you know guys, I like this stuff, blah, 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 blah. Make a little video, post it up on that per particular part. This is the wonderful thing right here because this really is going to help out your SEO and really honestly, <clears throat> it's going to be really good for people. People, people, people. Always remember that when you're optimizing your basically your presence online. You're optimizing for people first, search engine second. So make sure that you're a part of your community. Join into your community and let other people know what's going on in your community. Seriously, watch what happens to your presence online. Watch what happens to your business whenever you start sharing with your community instead of just selling to your community, period. Anyways, thank you guys very much. I hope some of these strategies and tactics here help you. If you want to see me, you know, drop more pins, you can watch my other videos. <laughs> no, if you guys would like to at any time, go ahead and click on the link below. Um, it's absolutely uh, no obligation. You guys can get some solid free training. We actually go through a lot of SEO that I've done for large companies, uh, hundreds of small business owners and thousands of individuals. You're going to learn how to build and brand and manage your business yourself starting right now, period. Anyways, once again, thank you guys very much for being on here. No matter what, God bless.